What's up guys, this is Zach with ECS Tuning and today we're gonna to be doing a quick oil pan DIY on our Mark 6 GTI. We were in the middle of doing an oil change DIY and when we pulled out the drain plug, we found out the threads were totally gone. So, we gotta replace the pan. Uh, we're gonna be installing this uh, Euro Parts steel pan using our oil pan install kit. It includes pan hardware, level sensor hardware, a magnetic drain plug, and silicone sealant. Um, this is a 2010 Mark 6 GTI. Uh, but this should be pretty much the same for any two OTSI. Uh, it's quick and easy, so let's get into it. Uh, I think all we're gonna need is a T30, a 10 millimeter, a gasket scraper, um, some brake cleaner, and maybe a rubber mallet. All right, so first steps, uh, you're gonna pull your belly pan and drain all your oil. And then remove these 20 T30s around the perimeter of the oil pan. Any old order will do. All right, so now we're ready to knock the pan off. Uh, you're gonna wanna put some cardboard down so that any dripping doesn't get on your driveway. Uh, a few knocks with a mallet should break it loose. Okay, if she's loose, should just be able to pull it down. All right, so I'm gonna use a gasket scraper and just scrape any old gasket material off of the uh, ceiling surface. You wanna make sure any old gasket material and oil is gone. You wanna make it super clean. Uh, and I like to grab a pick and clean out the threads as well. All right, so I got a crappy old microfiber and some brake cleaner. I'm just gonna spray the brake cleaner on the microfiber and scrub down the ceiling surface. Make sure it's real clean and bone dry. All right, so we're about to put our sealant on. Uh, you're gonna wanna have a two to three millimeter bead of sealant all the way around the perimeter on the inside of the bolt holes. Any less than that, and it might not seal up. Any more than that, and it'll squeeze up, or uh, squeeze out and uh, get into your oil and then clog up your pickup. Speaking of which, anytime you have the oil pan off, it's a good time to check your pickup, make sure there's no metal or other debris. And you should always have your hardware ready to go because once you get this laid down, you have about five minutes to get it in place uh, before it sets up too much. Okay, we'll start two in the middle and then we'll go over the specific bolt pattern in a second, but I just wanna get this thing hung up. Okay, so there are a couple steps to this. Uh, there's a pattern to tighten all these bolts down in. Uh, we'll show you a picture of it, but basically it works from the center out to the edges. Uh, so basically what you're gonna do is get them just snug down, just hand tight first. Then we're gonna torque them to eight Newton meters, and then we're gonna add 45 degrees. So I'm just getting them snug down right now, get everything set, and we'll go from there. All right, now we're gonna put the level sensor cover on, uh, three 10 millimeter nuts, and these will be torqued down to nine Newton meters or 80 inch pounds. All right, now we're ready to put our drain plug in into some nice new threads. Okay, so we're ready to torque down our drain plug. Uh, the factory torque spec is 22 foot-pounds, but there are a few variables to take into account there, like whether or not the threads have oil in them, uh, whether or not you're changing to an aluminum-style uh, drain plug, or if you're changing a crush washer style. All those things will change the achieved clamping force for a given input torque. Uh, so since we've got a brand new drain pan with dry threads uh, and an aluminum-style uh, drain plug, I actually tighten this down to 25 foot-pounds to make sure it doesn't leak. Uh, 22 foot-pounds, the, the factory spec is a good place to start, but you're probably going to want to check and make sure that you don't have any drippage. 
All right, so we let the uh, sealant dry for about an hour while we ate lunch, came back, filled it up with oil, let it run to operating temperature, and now we're just back under it looking for any leaks, uh, and we don't have any leaks, which is good. Uh, so now that's, that's an oil pan replacement. We're gonna put the skid plate back on and we're done here. So check the links in the description below for the oil pan, the install kit. Uh, we've also got a really cool stainless steel oil pan that is mega strong. Uh, so yeah, check that stuff out in the links below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, if there's any other buttons, hit them too. See you guys next time. Hit the thumbs down. No, yeah, don't hit the thumbs down, please. Please? Please? Nah, I don't care. Hit the thumbs down. <laughs>